people. My name is Jason Innes. I'm a chef and coordinator at the Chef School, and today I'm going to give you an overview of Blackboard for Culinary Foundations. When you're ready to log on to Blackboard, you're going to go to Google or any of your or any web browser. Google, Google Chrome works really well, and you type in George Brown College. Once you're at George Brown College, you can click on Quick Links. Quick Links will take you to Blackboard. Click on Blackboard and Blackboard will take you to our LMS or Learning Management System. Think of Blackboard as a place for your professors to house all of the information that you will need. It's going to look similar to this. Mine is a bit different because I'm a professor. Yours will be very similar. So you can click on Courses and your courses will all be listed here. Um, this course I'm going to overview today is called Blackboard Foundations. So Culinary Foundations is a class that we'll be taking together and I want to give you an overview of the class. So on the course homepage, you're going to see Welcome to Culinary Foundations. It's going to give you a link to me or your demo professor. There are two professors for Culinary Foundations and Culinary Essentials. There's a demo professor and then there is a lab professor. The demo professor will demonstrate everything that you will be learning every week. Your lab professor will be evaluating you. So there's two separate classes at two separate times. So your demo professor will show you what you're going to be doing. Your lab professor on another day will assist you in reproducing what the demo professor has done. So on the home page there's a number of things that you're going to that you're going to see. So one of the most important ones is the about this course. So we're going to get there in a second. But if you look over here on the left you can also see course home page, weekly learning materials, weekly lab and assignments, quizzes, a calendar, announcements, email, chef feedback, your grades, Wiley Plus, and Wiley Plus is where you can uh, read your textbook, and an academic integrity module. So, before we get started, just explore this home page. So we can see that there is an, uh, an overview of equipment, so please feel free to play and watch what sort of tools and knives you will need. We will also cover this in the first day of class. There's also a video on how to access OneDrive and how to submit your work plan. And there's also information here on how to claim your book. Your textbook has been purchased by your school fees already. You don't have to pay any money for it. You own it in a digital copy. And your student manual is all also here, as well as right here for a quick link. So when you open the About This Course section, you're going to see a, num a lot of information explaining what all of these tabs are. And as you go down, through each tab, you will be given information on how to communicate. Most Email is your number one mode of communication. Blackboard is a way for you to figure out all the course information that you have. And Microsoft Teams will be a place where you can interact with other, other colleagues and your chef. In the demo professor and, and chef section, you'll, you'll get to meet your demo professors and learn how to contact them and what their information is. You also learn to learn more about your lab professor and what their information is and how to contact them. Under the student manual, you'll be able to find your student manual. You'll also be able to find a link to your course outline. Think of the course outline as a contract between the college and you. So the course outline will list what you are learning, what you're doing, how you're being evaluated, and what the evalu those evaluations are. At George Brown, we want you to be successful, so we are going to outline for you what the evaluation system is, when they are due, so that you can be successful. There is also an assessment evaluation system. So in this class, you're going to be graded in three separate ways. The first way is in, in your in-class practical labs, which will be weighed at 87%. You will be graded on a final multiple choice quiz, which is worth 10%. And you'll also be given graded on 3% on your academic integrity quiz. And they will all equal 100%. Now, this is very important. The passing grade for this class is 
So it's not 50, it is 60. So you have to achieve 60% to pass the course. 80% attendance is mandatory to successfully complete the course. That means that if you miss one class, you will be okay. If you miss two classes, you cannot pass the course. You have to attend all of your classes. Now you also have to attend all of your demos and all of your labs. If you miss a demo and try to show up for the lab, you'll be allowed in, but you will not be graded for that lab. Further on down, there is more information on support. So support for Blackboard, support for student services, the college policies, support for online learning. We also have a section completely on safety videos, how to wear gloves, how to take them off, how to wash your hands, and about masks. We also have a section on knife sharpening videos. We will demo these for you um, when you are in class as well. So that is your course homepage. Now, if you look over on the left on the weekly learning materials, every week there is going to be a breakdown for you on what you will be learning each and every week. So in Knife Skills Week, we give you an overview of what's going to be happening that week. We'll be giving you the objectives. We'll be giving you an activity preview. We'll be telling you what the menu is for that week. And then we will be giving you a presentation that you can review on your own, and we will do it in class as well. You will also have access to cooking videos. So if we demonstrate something in the class and you want to learn a little bit more about it, all of the videos that we have demonstrated in the class are there for you to learn either prior to class or after class to ensure that you are practiced and ready for your lab. We also have readings designed for you here. There, these readings will connect you directly to your textbook. So your textbook will, will, get, will give you the ability to read through chapters and learn more about what, you, about what you are learning. So you can read the textbook from start to finish, or you can click on specific, um, specific chapters. So in week two, we will be reviewing tools and equipment. So that would be the reading for that week. Further on down the line, we have um, we have the, the weekly labs and assignments. And we're going to give you some information in class about what you're supposed to do. One of the things that we're going to be teaching in this class is how to create an action plan. And that action plan is necessary for you to do your work. So you will be doing an action plan each and every week and submitting it here online. You will also be doing quizzes. You're not going to see the quiz here because the quiz isn't open yet. But when the quizzes are open, this is where you're going to find them. In your calendar, you're going to see what things are due. And this is going to work for your Blackboard page across all of your courses. So you will be able to find um, when something is due and you just you'll be able to see it there in your calendar. Please check the announcement page because you will be getting announcements from your professors. We also have a quick link here to, to either email your professor or other students in your class. You'll also have a chef feedback page where you will be able to give um, ongoing feedback to your professors and they will get them. This is all anonymous, so you will be able to give them positive construction, constructive feedback. There is also a section here called My Grades, and in your grades, you will be able to see how you are progressing each and every week. Wiley Plus is just the link that we use to get you on uh, to get you onto your textbook. When you click on Wiley Plus, it will it will help you sign up for your textbook. The Academic Integrity Module. Every student is required to do this because we want to ensure that you understand about plagiarism and acting with academic honesty. I'm just going to slip back here to the weekly labs and assignments and show you one, uh, one thing that, um, that is really, really cool. When your assignments are, when your assignments come up, you, there are going to be listed here for you with due dates and they will be listed to, t to let you know when they are due. When you actually click on the, when you click on the assignment, 
this is where you will submit your assignment, and you click on View Rubric, you will see what you're going to be graded on. So in your Week 2 Knife Cuts week, you're going to be graded on your station setup, you're going to be graded on your julienne, you're going to be graded on small dice, onion julienne, celery paisan, leek julienne, veg stock, and hygiene, as well as timing and organization. Now I know a lot of these words might not mean something to you at this point, but we will take you through them and demonstrate to you how we want things done. We're not going to expect you to do things we've not shown you. We're going to make sure we teach you all of the skills that we learned so that you are successful in the kitchen. So very, very cool section there. So that's been a brief overview of Blackboard. And if you have any questions, go back to your course homepage. This will show you where to find important information, such as your student manual, how to contact your chef professors. Your demo chefs are excited to meet you. Your lab chefs are excited to meet you. Have a fantastic first week of class. Looking forward to meeting you all.